What if you could get on a bus and go on a trip to Mars? Yeah, that's not really possible. But these kids are doing the next best thing. They've gone on an excursion into Western Australia's Pilbara Desert, a place which scientists say is kind of similar to the Red Planet. They're meeting some space scientists who are studying the landscape to get ready for an actual trip to Mars. Next year, both NASA and the European Space Agency are planning to send robotic rovers to the Martian surface. While they're there, they'll be collecting and analysing samples of rock to try to find out more about the red planet, and in particular, whether there was ever any life on Mars. They'll be on the greatest treasure hunt ever. And their job is to try to search out and interpret the geology at Mars to understand both the evolution of the planet, but also in our search for evidence of ancient life. So this trip to the Pilbara is like a practice run for these scientists, where they're learning how to spot signs of ancient life. See, these rocks are more than three billion years old and hold the fossilised remains of Earth's first living things. I mean, the exciting thing about these outcrops is you're looking at your great, 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 great grandfathers and grandmothers. This is really the start of everything that came afterwards. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. These rocks really don't look like my ancient ancestors. But hear me out. These patterned bits of rocks are called stromatolites. The layers are made up of fossilised microorganisms. And over billions of years, those microorganisms eventually evolved into everything on the planet, including us. Pretty crazy, huh? If anything like this was found on Mars, that would be huge. We hope that we can start to have a better answer for are we alone in the universe? Where and how did life emerge? There's some pretty big questions and they've got these guys interested in finding out more. Do you want to be an astronaut? Yeah. I would want to. Yeah. Just fly around in space. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See if there's life on Mars. For now, they're learning about the geology of the Pilbara and how it's helping space scientists how we get the rover to Mars. And so these are all the pieces that we have to stack together. They say while they always knew their hot, dry home was pretty special, they didn't realise that it could one day help to unravel some of the biggest mysteries out there. And it's even got some of them interested in a spacey career. Thinking about it now, yeah, a lot. It seems really cool, actually. Yeah, thinking of being an astronaut now.